Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of uh, December 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Scorpio, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Scorpio, uh, in this reading we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, what is the mutual energy between you and this person. Okay, so let's get started now. So we have eight of swords, then we have is four of wands, we have is six of cups for you, for your person, judgment, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, mutual energy is king of wands and the chariot. Okay. So Scorpio, you may be dealing with a cancer, with a Sagittarius. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs. You may be seeing a lot of 444. Okay. A lot of 777. Eight of Swords. Then we have is Four of Wands. And we have is Six of Cups. Scorpio, with that Eight of Swords, what I feel is like universe, your ancestors, your spiritual team, they want you to get out of this stuck energy. Okay, why they want you to get out of this stuck energy is because there is a lot of abundance that is waiting for you in terms of love. Okay, a strong, uh, a strong, stable, committed relationship is about to happen with a past life soulmate, with a twin flame of yours. Okay, but you are in this energy. It's it's a it's like a self imprisonment. Okay, not that you cannot get out of this energy. It's the the swords are not encircling her completely. Okay, there is a way to get out of this energy. the The rope is not entangled. Uh, the rope is not entangled so tightly. She can release herself from this rope. She can remove this blindfold. Okay, but what I see is like efforts are needed. To get out of this energy and the efforts are lacking and universe and your spiritual team your ancestors they 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 are sort of probably they are trying to tell you through some messages through some intuitive guidance that it's time that you get out of this stuck energy it's time that you get out of the stagnancy okay because this is waiting for you a long-term committed situation is waiting for you. Someone is about to enter in your life. And when this person enters in your life, universe doesn't want you to want you to remain in the stagnant energy. Okay, universe doesn't want you to remain in that past energy. Because uh, future is very beautiful. Future is very stable. Future is, is going to bring you that happiness, that joy, that satisfaction that you absolutely did not experience in any of your previous relationships okay so universe is like is trying to shake you like hey hey wake up get out of the stagnant energy get out of the stuck energy better things are waiting for you better things are awaiting you in the future there is a lot of love there is a lot of care there is there is this committed relationship okay what i see is in the future you will have a house with this person whosoever wants to have kids you will have kids with this person Let's see what is the energy of your person. Judgment, four of pentacles and we have a seven of pentacles. This person is praying something on daily basis. They probably want to come back. This person is watching you a lot. They are, they are regretting because not being with you is a loss for them. Okay. And that loss is unbearable. This person is probably praying that they want to go back to you uh they are praying that please please 
let Scorpio give me one more chance. I want to reignite this connection. This person is observing you a lot, okay, Scorpio. They are spying a lot on you, okay. There is and there is tremendous amount of regret in this person's mind. They they, whenever they think of you, whenever they see your your pictures, whenever they they this person has your photographs with them, okay, in in their mobile phone. They go through your photographs and they are like. I what a stupid idiot I am okay I have lot lost this biggest opportunity in my life once in a lifetime opportunity okay and there is a lot of regret in this person's mind with that king of wands and the chariot what I feel is hmm Someone is coming your way. And whosoever is coming your way, Scorpio, you are manifesting this person. And when I say someone, whosoever this someone person is, they are very they are very powerful. They are very strong. They are very good with their money. Okay. They have a lot to share. They have a lot they have a lot of love to give. They they are this loving, caring and a very protective person. Uh, a fiercely protective person. Okay. And this person is very generous. Okay. They have this helping kind of an attitude. They will see you. Okay. Universe is asking you to get out of this energy. But once they see you that you need some help in getting out of this energy. This person will do everything to help you. Uh, to help you get out of this stagnancy phase. Okay. So what I see is that. First of all, someone who is very mature, someone who is very, uh, someone who is spiritually awakened, someone who has been through a lot in their life, okay, such kind of a person is about to enter in your life and somehow I'm sensing Scorpio that you will meet this person through work. There is a strong possibility Scorpio that this person may be your boss, okay, or maybe boss's boss. But there is a possibility that they may be your boss. If you are not doing a 9 to 5 job then you will meet this person during travel. Yes, you may meet this person during travel. But whosoever this person is, they are holding a powerful position. They are, a, they are holding some authority position. Okay. And they are very mature. They are very wise. Why they are so wise is because this person, they had very, they have experienced a lot of ups and downs in their life, okay? And they have sustained those ups and downs and not just sustained, they have risen up in their life. This person is like a phoenix rising. Multiple times this person was being pulled down to rock bottom situation, but every time they have come out of it, okay? So... If I would have been a Scorpio, I would have claimed this situation. Alright, I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye-bye.